In this video I'm gonna present you the engine layout from this Mercedes W177. So we're gonna see the location of each component. All right, so let's start with the driver side. Here we have the first fuse box, the car battery. On top of the car battery, we've got a current limiter. Here we have the computer of the car right on top of the air filter box. This is the vent hose for the car battery. Back there, we've got the brake booster, the brake fluid reservoir together with the master cylinder. Here we have a vacuum pump, which is connected to the exhaust camshaft. So Back here we've got the turbocharger. This is the intake pipe which comes from the air filter and the turbocharger delivers the air further which is already pressurized which goes under here to the intercooler and then it comes through down there goes through the throttle body into the intake manifold. Here we have the oxygen sensor number one. And from here we can see as well the oxygen sensor number two. Here we have basically the switch of the turbocharger, which is an electric actuator. Here we have the warm part and there is the cold part. This is the return line for the coolant and this is the delivery line for the coolant. Back here, an input line for the engine oil. Here we've got the air reservoir, an air pressure sensor, the turbocharger blow off valve. Right there is the actuator for the turbocharger down here this black unit is the thermostat here we have the coolant temperature sensor down here we've got the flywheel on that side we've got the automatic transmission this is the automatic transmission fluid dipstick port down here we've got the fuel tank system purge valve this is the oil separator here we have the manifold absolute pressure sensor and here we have another air pressure sensor the throttle body the intake manifold here we've got a bunch of wiring harnesses here we have the magnets for the variable valve timing on both sides the high pressure fuel pump we've got the fuel rail and right under the fuel rail we've got the fuel injectors this is the fuel pressure sensor and four coil packs. Here we have the alternator with the tensioner pulley. This big piece of metal is just an engine mount. Down there we've got an auxiliary water pump. Here we have the starter motor. Down there we've got a knock sensor and we can see there an oil output. Down there we've got a second knock sensor. We've got here on the side the automatic transmission module. Down there we've got the ABS pump unit together with the module. We've got here some lines for the refrigerant from the AC compressor. Now let's see what you can find under the car. I already removed the main cover. Here we have the oil level sensor, the oil filter cap and the drain plug. Here we have the AC compressor which is still driven by the belt. Okay we've got that idler pulley and the tensioner is right there. On top we've got the alternator. There we have the starter. This is the automatic transmission on the driver side. Here we have a coolant heat exchanger for the engine oil there we have the auxiliary water pump here we have two temperature sensors for the transmission okay guys those are pretty much all the components on this engine bay thanks for watching and if you have this car go ahead and check out the playlist take care and have a nice day